Hi, I'm Xin Yichen. I'm Jing Xianxi. This is our machine learning final project presentation. Our project is about artist identification. This is our outline. We're going to briefly talk about the following topics, including project description, dataset introduction, approaches taken, results, and our conclusion. Our goal is to recognize the specific patterns of an artwork and output the probabilities of each painting belonging to the artists that we gave as labels. Our dataset is a bunch of images from Kaggle. There are 25 painter, painters in total. The dataset is a little unbalanced because, as you can see, the first artist has 800 paintings, while the last one only has about 100. To solve our problem, here are the models that we have tried. Let's look at basic CNN first. Since our data set from Kaggle is a little unbalanced, we only select the four painters with largest amount of paintings. But in this way, the data amount beco becomes really small. So in order to increase the data, we firstly scale it to some size close to 128 by 128 and then crop it into 64 by 64 pieces. To, uh, for each image, we split it to RGB channels and we get feature vector. Finally, we get about 10,000 data points and we divide them like this. This is the structure of our basic CNN. There are three convolution layers and two fully connected layers. We actually tried a lot of combinations of parameters like the ones shown now. We also tried different regularization methods like L2 and dropout, but the result validation accuracy is always between 50% to 65%. So this is the best validation accuracy we can get from a basic CNN model. We also tried basic CNN model with two layers, four layers, or five layers, but this is the best outcome we can get. For the testing algorithms of our basic CNN model, we tried two algorithms. The first algorithm for each piece of a uh, complete artwork, give an output of the most likely artist and pick the artist that has the highest frequency as the final prediction. The second algorithm is for a complete artwork. For each artist, we add up all the possibilities of this artist given each art piece, and pick the artist that has the highest probability as the final prediction. And during training, we've modified the parameters in the CN model, try to change numbers of iterations, number of batches, add more layers, or decrease the number of layers but it turns out that the performance didn't get improved. And the final test accuracy is about 60 to 65% ac accuracy. So we then tried binary classification as another approach. And we wanted to do a binary classification. And if the performance is better, we can then input data into four binary classification models and output the final prediction and check that performance. So first, we thought of using support vector machine to do this linear classification. The model turns out to be bad, since it only outputs the same prediction for every artwork that is false here. And then, we think simple network might not work well, so we still tried CNN, but this time only used to do binary classification. For each artist, we create a CNN network with same architecture and predict only the possibility of the artwork belonging to this artist. Here, we only use the test algorithm 2 that is mentioned before, that is, add up all the probabilities from each piece of artwork and give a final prediction based on the cumulative probabilities. Below are the two examples of the results. One is the artist that ranked the second and the other is the artist that ranked the third. The accuracy of the binary classification model for the four artists are about 77%, 78%, 85%, and 86%. Recall that the first two artists have more artworks at about 700 and 800, while the latter two has only about half of the first two. The result that the accuracy of latter ones are higher than the first two ones 
might be that among those huge amounts of artworks, more styles are detected. So it adds to the difficulties of learning their particular styles. Thus, it's actually hard to raise the accuracy by increasing the data amount. As the formula shows, to get the final prediction label, we first put each piece into binary classification of the top four artists, and then we multiply the probability of this piece belonging to this artist by the accuracy of this model. Then we compare the four results and pick the artist that produces the highest result as the prediction. The final result is about 66% and is within expectation, as it is not far away from the basic image classification CN network. After we found that the accuracy cannot be improved significantly by using basic CN model, we tried transfer learning because now we only need to train the last few layers of pre-trained network. A uh, original amount of paintings is enough. So in this case, we have 10 painters. We resize each image to the larger scale, and we have three, about 3,000 data points in total. We try different models like ResNet 18, ResNet 50, VGG 16, and um, this ResNet 50, 50 gives best result. This is our best result with ResNet 50, and the accuracy is about 76%. Since we found that the transfer learning really costs a lot of time, we need to wait for about two hours before validation accuracy stops increasing. We failed to try more parameter combinations to improve the, the accuracy. Usually, transfer learning will give better results than self-trained models, and this is proved to be true. We have more classes and less images here, and we get higher accuracies. 76% uh, accuracy is not very high, but within our expectation. Even previous um, binary classification did not get very high accuracy because artwork is complicated. Taking a closer look at our dataset images, we can find that one artist may have different painting styles. For instance, most people are familiar with Van Gogh's Sunflowers and Starry Night, but maybe cannot recognize his painting like the third one. Similarly, different painters might also have similar style of paintings. After reading some papers about artist identification, we found that most people also got 70 to 80 percent accuracy. Only very few of them can get more than 90 percent. Here is an example that is predicted correctly. To summarize, we get final result like this. So our conclusion is that if we have more time, we can use GPU to try bigger input size and more models that require larger computational power. We, we also want to read more papers, learn and try more complicated models. So this is our final project presentation. Thank you. Thank you.